All right, what's going on, everybody? It's me, Tony Nico. Welcome back to another video. How's everybody's day going? So apparently, Rap says Desu got copyright struck by a anime podcast channel called the One Piece Podcast, which is not really that big of a channel, but they have a few big channels under their belt, including Totally Not Mark and Super Eye Patch Wolf, as you can see from right here. So this all happened because Rap says Desu made a video on one of i believe the creators on twitter or i believe the host of the podcast they had a twitter account and they're an artist that made a pretty disrespectful artwork of the character yamato from one piece where they basically disregard the fact that the author oda of one piece said that yamato is a female not a male and the artwork that they made, I'm going to put it up here on the screen, is basically them waving away the bio of Oda, I believe, saying that this character is female because this artist instead came up with their own headcanon that this character is male and not female instead. So basically what they're doing is they're disrespecting what the author said and going by their own belief of what they think this character is. And Rev says Desu included this part in his video criticizing this artwork, saying that it's pretty disrespectful that they're going out of their way to disregard what the author Oda himself said about this character and just go by their own headcanon. Now, Rev says Desu himself also said that this artwork, it looks good, but the message is pretty disrespectful. So I'm going to play the clip in question that got Rev says Desu falsely copyright struck by this channel. And in response to the people trying to correct her use of a male pronoun when it should have been female, this artist has come out to support the claim that Bridget is trans. So I have to censor out the, the good bits for YouTube. And again, this is a good piece of art. I'm just saying that it has a disrespectful message, and I'll explain why. So in this art, uh, Yamato is brushing off this image right here, which I'll explain in a minute. Basically saying it's stinky and gross and should be ignored. However, that thing they're waving off is the official card for this character that was approved by Oda himself. So basically, you're saying that Oda, in his opinion, is stinky and unwanted because it doesn't serve your narrative. Seems pretty disrespectful, especially when you're using his character to make this artwork. It, it just seems a bit disrespectful for an artist to do that. So as you can see, it's exactly like what Rep says Desu said right here. Yeah, this artwork is a bit disrespectful towards Oda because they're going out of their way to make an artwork of a character that he made to disregard what he said about this character by having his own character wave away a card that he approved about what gender this character is. And instead, they're just going and being like, oh, well, his opinion doesn't matter. It's stinky. It's garbage and unwanted and stuff. You know, what the author says about their own character is completely irrelevant. Just go by what you think the character is. So this clip right here caused him to get copyright struck by the podcast. And he went onto Twitter to make a tweet about this. So let's check that all out. So as you can see right here, he adds YouTube. At Team YouTube, the At One Piece podcast and their co-host Steve Yurko have filed a false copyright struck against my channel. In the video, I criticized their artwork that they posted publicly on Twitter. This strike is a clear abuse of the copyright system. I'm allowed to criticize what you post publicly. Horrible look for not only a fellow content creator, but an artist too. So yeah, as you can see right here, they're abusing the copyright system. Also, to add on to this, there's an option to request a takedown of a video and not apply a strike. They went the extra step to add the strike. Petty behavior. I will fight it as hard as I need to. Hopefully, they do the smart thing and drop it. Update. He privated his account. What an absolute coward. And then, as you can see right here, Steve Yurko privated his account after uh, Rep says Desu made a tweet calling them out for falsely copyright striking his channel just because he criticized their disrespectful artwork in a video. Another update. Now I'm blocked too. And then uh, YouTube responded by saying, you have a few options to resolve the copyright strike. One, wait for it to expire. Two, get a retraction. Or three, submit a counter notification. Just keep in mind that deleting the video won't resolve the strike. And then more info when they post the link over here. I submitted my counter notification already, but I want to avoid that long process because they clearly abused the system despite me for criticizing their public tweet. 
I also can't contact them because they block me preemptively. We look into misuse of our copyright tools and web forms to prevent abuse. Once your counter notification has been processed, we investigate for abuse. More here. Hopefully some action is taken since my tweet went public. Both accounts involved have either blocked me or gone private. They have also removed their contact info on their YouTube channel. It's very clear they know they abused the copyright system and are now hiding. Yikes. So, yeah, as you can see, they're clearly abusing the copyright system and trying to silence Rep says Desu's video about him criticizing their darn tweet. And, and if you don't know, getting three copyright strikes on your channel means that your channel might get terminated. So, yeah, this is a pretty big fucking deal right here for someone to go out of their way and uh, falsely copyright strike someone and just abuse the system. It's exactly like what the Quantum TV situation where he was silencing any type of criticism about him it all started with the channel mischief when he silenced him for uh, making a video criticizing his shitty Elden ring take so yeah uncommon youtube w youtube intervened and denied their claim the video is reinstated and the strike removed in the process i also learned the llc they filed it under i now know 100 percent that they don't have the licensing rights to sell their unofficial one piece merch also keep in mind they have the ability to refile as expressed in the email so if they keep going, they are ignoring the fact that everyone knows they are abusing the copyright system. Hid behind blocks and privating of their accounts, all because they couldn't handle criticism. Yikes. You know, I hate when channels would do that type of shit. Like, when they get criticized, they'll go out of their way to abuse the system instead and just falsely copyright strike you. We've seen it with Ace of Thorn, we've seen it with Quantum TV. You know, hopefully it doesn't turn into a big situation like that with the One Piece podcast and Reps as Desu because it's not going to end well. Shit happened with Quantum TV and Mischief and the Act Man, and we all remember that whole situation, right? And PPPS, it's perfectly fine to disagree with my video's message. However, abusing copyright systems to silence people criticizing content you posted publicly is shameful. That is the cardinal rule of content creators. Never abuse the system to spite your critics. Well said. Like, that's the point of making content or posting something publicly on the internet. It's going to get criticized by someone eventually. And it's up to you to sit there and learn how to take that criticism and either grow from it or... I guess you could just ignore it. But if you're a content creator and you're going out of your way to copyright strike someone because they criticize something that you said on Twitter or in a video, that's honestly some fucking loser material right there, man, for you to go out of your way and abuse a system like that and just falsely strike people just to silence what your critics say about you. And not only that, but it's also illegal for you to abuse a system like that too. On a word on the situation, hopefully. I made a video covering the timeline of events from the false copyright strike to my video's reinstation. I also share info about the podcast I filed it. YouTubers connected to it in the copyright system. New video link below. So yeah, hopefully this won't turn into anything bigger, but so far Rep says Desu has gotten the claim taken off of his YouTube video and the One Piece podcast and Steve Yurko, the co-host of it, have their accounts privated I believe or I believe only the Steve Yurko account is privated at the moment and they have both blocked reps as Desu after this situation so hopefully it won't go any further than this you know he got his strike removed and the One Piece podcast channel has not said anything or come out publicly about this they've just been completely silent on the whole situation but hopefully it doesn't escalate any further than that now that reps as Desu has the strike taken off of his video He's already made a video covering this situation and going into detail about what happened and also some other stuff about how they don't even actually have the license to sell the uh, One Piece merch that I believe they're hosting on their channel or on their Twitter. But anyway, with that being said, this is just a short little thing that happened right here. Hopefully it won't turn into like a, another Quantum TV situation or even an Acer Thorn situation with the... Uh, Reb says Desu and this podcast channel. That being said, this is me, Mitsuni Nika. I hope you all have a blessed day. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Turn the notification to get notified about when I release new videos. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. I'm out.